Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial for course play with uh, the grain transport mode or mode one for those of us that have been uh, using course play for quite a while. And so this mode has uh, the, been improved a lot uh, recently in course play. And so we're going to take a look at it with a single trailer and then I'm going to show off some of the new features, which is um, the ability for course play to now handle up to three trailers, or uh, you can also do the Wilson trailer, which is a double hopper trailer, um, plus one trailer if you had another uh, pup trailer that you were pulling behind this. Um, but I'm just going to show off these three scenarios, and then uh, um, it'll make sense on how you can mix and match uh, up to three total um, hoppers, essentially. But we're going to start with the smallest setup first, uh, because it's the most common. And so we're going to take this tractor here and run over to our bin and get set up to do a simple uh, grain transport course. So with course play, um, grain transport, you always fill at the starting point. Uh, and so what I want to do is set up a start point for course play right here where my tractor's going to um, be the point at which I start. And so if I'm in mode one and I say start course recording, that first point is gonna start there. I wanna make sure that my trailer is underneath this because he's gonna start and um, that's where he's gonna fill. And that'll make sense in a minute. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a nice uh, gradual turn here and we're just gonna actually dump it right back into the bin uh, for the moment. Now, you can use this mode to um, sell grain or to take it back to your bin uh, from a field, uh, so to speak. And so um, we'll talk about that in a little bit. So I'm just going to go around here because once I get to having multiple trailers, it's going to be a little bit hard to uh, make tight turns. And so course play, you always want to make sure you're making some you know, fairly gradual turns. And then I'm going to stop here. And so you'll notice that all I did was drive over the dump trigger there. I didn't stop, I didn't set a white point or do anything uh, because you don't need to do any of those things. Uh, and we'll, we'll demonstrate this and talk a little bit more about why that is here in a second. So now that I've recorded the course, what I wanna do is come to this vehicle specific settings tab up here. Um, this, that looks like the, the switches are here. And there's, two different ways that you can use um, a trailer. So if you were um, setting up this course maybe at the edge of a field and you wanted to unload grain into it at your start point of any type, you would use this kind of default mode where it's going to say somebody's going to dump grain. It's the manual filling mode, I think is what they call it. Somebody's going to come and manually fill this trailer up. And when this trailer is 90% full or more, it'll drive on. And so as soon as somebody starts filling, uh, um, if it hits 90%, this guy will start driving um, and head back to the bin site. Now that works good when you're doing a course by the field, but we're doing a course uh, where we wanna actually transport grain. Um, and so what we wanna do is we need to specify what kind of grain we're gonna transport. So we're gonna add a new fill type. So if you mouse over this add new fill type, you can set what kind of grain you want to um, haul. And so we're gonna start with corn uh, because I know I have a lot of corn in this uh, particular silo. And once you do that, you'll see that um, corn shows up here and this count is how many times do I want to run this course? How many trailer fulls? And it maxes out at 20. We're gonna tell this to go two times uh, just for demonstration purposes. And the max and min, and I'm sorry, to move this number, you just move your mouse over it and then roll the mouse wheel. Um, and so I just adjusted this by rolling my mouse wheel to two. And then the max min is how full do you want to fill the trailer? You know, if I want to make that 100% full or I want to make, you know, only, you know, bring so much grain somewhere. Let's say you were using this mode to haul corn to... Um, your animals or wheat to um, your animals uh, to feed them. You could say that you only wanted to bring a thousand liters or something like that and you know how big your trailer is. 
We're going to leave this at 100% because we want the trailer to fill all the way up. And then similarly, the minimum value is I don't want the trailer to leave the silo or wherever I'm picking up that grain unless I've hit that minimum amount. Um, so I'm going to leave this at zero so that, um, you know, if I do happen to run out of corn while we're testing here, which we shouldn't, um, you know, he would keep he would drive on even if he only had zero percent there. Um, if you wanted to make sure that he only left with a full trailer, um, and in fact I could do that, we're just going to roll all the way up here to 100%. Um, and so it, if I do it like this, if I can't fill my trailer all the way to 100% with corn, um, he's going to stay at the start point. Um, so we can just leave it there. And we're going to talk about this other mode here in a second, um, because this uh, separate fill types mode is for when you have multiple uh, trailers attached. So with our corn type set here, if we just go back, I'm going to say drive at first waypoint and hit drive course. He's going to come up here to the start point and he's going to um, fill his trailer up with corn. And when it gets to 100%, he's going to drive on and follow this course. And when he gets back to this dump trigger, um, he's going to start dumping it automatically. And so this is the cool thing about this mode with course play is that um, anytime he drives over a trigger, he's going to try and empty his trailer. So this trigger could be like in my case here where we're dumping it back into our silo, um, which is useful if you're hauling grain from a field back to your farm. If this was a sell point, he'd be dumping it into the sell point and selling it. Or if this was, um, say, an animal pen, um, you would be dumping uh, into that pen to feed your animals, potentially. And so you can see he dumped his corn, and then he's just going to wait until the trailer is done um, lowering, and then he's going to continue to follow that course back until he gets to um, the bin site again. And if we go back to this tab here, you can see that my count has lowered now because we've dumped once. So I set this at two. It went from two down to one time left. And what should happen if we follow him along is he's going to fill up one more time, dump into the bin, and then he's going to come all the way back around and then just stop and sit there. You can see as soon as he drove into the uh, tip trigger, the count lowered down to zero. Um, so even if he wasn't able to fully dump his load or something else happened, um, that count has already been reduced um, so that when he gets back to the bin site, he will uh, just sit there and wait uh, until you come and do something else. It should pop up with a message here. So you can see when it got to the end, it pops up with an info message, which will sit here um, that essentially says that he, his counter, how many times he's supposed to run this course, has reached zero. And so he will just sit here uh, until you come and interact or do something with this particular vehicle. So um, that is how a single trailer uh, course play course works. And so I'm just going to pull him out of the way here and um, we're gonna go back and grab um, the other John Deere tractor that I have here with the three uh, Brent wagons and talk about how to do multiple trailers. And, um, but before we do that, we're gonna save this course and we're gonna save this course as um, a grain transport mode because we're gonna be able to use that same course with the other vehicles without having to do any modifications to it. So if I just um, shut this tractor off and hop into this one, when I bring up the course play menu, I'm able to load a course here. And we just want this guy to come over to the bin site here and um, we're gonna talk about this other mode. 
So I'm just going to park him um, more or less in position here. And in this case, what we want to do is um, have this guy also load corn. And I am going to um, only load corn. So if I want to load corn in all three of these trailers, all I have to do is add that one fill type and leave this uh, setting at deactivated. So we'll talk about this mode here in a second. I'm gonna reduce this count. I only want him to go and do this once. And so if I just set that like so and hit start, he should come in here and load all three trailers and then um, go and dump them like we just did uh, with the previous example. So as you can see, this works pretty much exactly like uh, one trailer, except that uh, you can pull a maximum of three trailers like this with course play and move the same type of uh, grain. Now, the really cool thing is if you wanted to, you can um, haul different types of grain. So this is helpful if you've um, maybe you're running a small farm operation and you want to sell a load of corn and a load of soybeans. Or, um, like I've mentioned, you want to feed your animals and um, you want to bring out, um, you know, maybe some wheat and, you know, some, you know, soybeans or sunflower or whatever. If you've got pigs, you can bring two different um, crops with you. So we're going to do um, corn and I've got three trailers here. Um, and so I'm going to set this. You can set it to... Um, do two trailers or um, three trailers and so I want to do the three trailer mode and I'm just gonna add uh, three different kinds of um, crops here I think I've got some soybeans I'm gonna drop this down to one count and then I've also got some wheat I'm pretty sure and so we'll drop this down and so this will attempt to load corn in the first trailer, soybeans in the second, and wheat in the third. So let's go ahead and give that a go. The other thing you'll note is that I set my min to 0% or left it at 0% for these, because while I know I have enough to fill a trailer of corn, I'm not sure I have enough to fill soybeans and wheat. So it will fill as much as it can between zero and 100%. And when I run out of that crop, like I just did with soybeans at 47%, it will detect that and move on to the next trailer and start filling the wheat. And so now I've got three different trailers of uh, crops here, and it will be able to take those and um, dump them into whatever trigger you set this up to run through. Um, so in our case, we're you know just dumping it right back in the bin. Um, so we won't sit here and watch this go through um, because we've already seen um, dumping multiple trailers. What I will do is uh, cut over and we'll show off uh, the Wilson trailer. So last but not least, we have the Wilson trailer set up, which is a double hopper trailer. I love these uh, very American style trailers. I've loaded the same grain transport mode uh, course, and we're going to go ahead and um, just pull it up here about in position and um, in this case you know much like uh, the other mode we're just going to use corn um, and this is capable of I guess I could show like it has the two trailer mode um, so I could do well, let's actually show that off um, I could do corn in the front bin and soybeans in the back bin And if we just go ahead and start this at the first waypoint, he's going to pull up here and fill up with corn, fill up with soybeans, 
and move on. And so this is a huge improvement over um, how course play worked, you know, a few months back um, where you couldn't use these type of trailers uh, with course play. It would only ever load and unload the first hopper, um, which was kind of frustrating because these are the types of trailers that I prefer. Um, there was apparently only a little bit of soybeans left in the uh, uh, bin there after I moved a bunch of stuff around and didn't wait to keep dumping everything in. And so, um, these tra so now you can use these trailers with course play, which is really cool. Um, really liking that. So the last thing I'm going to show off here uh, is going to be animals. So let me get that set up real quick so we don't have to drive around the map here. And uh, we'll show off dumping from a bin into the animals. All right, as one final demonstration here, we've set up a uh, small pig enclosure and tossed a bunch of pigs in here. And we're going to show off feeding the pigs with uh, this three trailer setup. And so, um, you know, again, we're going to want corn, soybeans, and wheat for our pigs uh, because that's in base game uh, the three food types uh, that they can take. Technically, there's a fourth, but uh, like I've said, course play is only capable of handling the three food types. Um, I'm just going to set these all at one. And then I don't want to fill full trailers for these, so I'm just going to set this down to 10% um, to bring a little bit of food out for uh, the pigs. I don't think this many pigs is actually going to take that much food anyway. Um, and then you could obviously, uh, you know, max these trailers out and have it bring a full load out. It will just drive on uh, once it's dumped as much as it can. But in the interest of time, we're just going to lower those. I'm going to say start course recording here, and we're going to go ahead and get the course set up, and then we'll run it and fill it uh, after we've done that. And so again, we, you know, at least if you're using big gravity wagons like this, you got to kind of make some wide turns. So we're going to take the scenic route around the farm to get up to those pigs. Um, I just kind of tossed them in there. As you can see, the ground is not exactly suited for a pig enclosure here. Some pretty bumpy ground there. We're going pretty fast with these gravity wagons. And then you just want to bring them in because these gravity wagons dump on the left. I'm just going to drive through this food trigger here. And it should unload each of those as we go through it. And then um, similarly, I got to get back to the stop point. So I'm just going to come right back around here and get pointed into uh, the grain bin setup so that I can run this course. So if we do something like this, come in here nice and easy, get lined up and set our stop point. We should be able to uh, run this course. If I look at this, I need the loading separate fill types turned on for my three trailers. I've got it set to 10% and a count of one. And so if I come back here and hit start, we should get 10% um, of each trailer uh, with those fill types. And so as we come in here, he should stop right up at this uh, first trailer and start dumping the corn in. And then just like any other dump trigger, he should be able to just dump uh, all three of these into uh, the pig food. And so for those of you that have larger uh, animal operations, this is a great way to um, help out with some of those chores uh, you know again this works with you know really any trailer type so if you had a trailer with uh, you know grass or hay or something like that and a uh, loading wagon or a forage wagon with some silage you could set up a, a course to move those things around as well so um, this is really a huge time saver for um, big animal operations uh, you know especially if you're like me and you know after a certain point in time you you know kind of get over the monotony of daily chores uh, you can just automate them and uh, have a course saved here and fire your uh, course play worker off on figuring that out for you so um, 
you know, again, this works for animal triggers. This works for bringing grain back and forth from the field to your silo or to a cell point. So um, this is a lot more flexible than it used to be. Really cool functionality. Uh, I know a lot of you have been asking for more course play tutorials, so we'll probably just work our way through and do more of a formal tutorial for each of the modes uh, as we go through. Uh, so if you have any specific questions or there's things that I missed, uh, please leave a comment below. I'm happy to try and answer any questions. Uh, I do have a Discord server. The link is in the description of the video. A lot of uh, people on there that are very knowledgeable about Farming Simulator. And so if you have questions about, you know, this or, you know, any other uh, feature function, course play, other mods, um, really friendly community on the uh, Kedrick Farms Discord server. And then, as always, if you're enjoying the videos, please subscribe and uh, hit that like button. That's all for today. Kedrick, out.